Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you for coming along and watching here at Speak and See. We ask everybody like and subscribe. I'm going to bring up some fresh information that we just got on the uh, SBA. Uh, everybody knew that there's a knows that I had mentioned earlier there's the investigation that's going on. I got to keep a little hush hush about it, but some of it just came out today in a report uh, about the uh, PPP program. Idol is going to be next. Actually, Idol is ongoing as well. I just want you guys to know that uh, that's still, yeah, that's still happening. Uh, we have some other things we could add to it if we need. But let me just go over this with you guys so you know what's going on with the PPP loans that are out there. Uh, remember, I put that video up the other day saying uh, there's been some red flags on some people out there. A lot of a lot of us got red flags and just really don't deserve the red flags. But a lot of you people out there that... There's other red flags out there that did actually deserve to be flagged. Uh, they're coming double dipping, triple dipping, maybe even more. Let me just go over this real quick. I'll put a link on the bottom down below so you guys can um, can go over this yourself if you want to get into the total details of it. But uh, flash report duplicate uh, duplicate loans made under the PPP program. Uh, this is March 15th, uh, 2021. This is the office of... Uh, the SBA Inspector General and the Office of the OIG uh, is, is the one that issued this, the Office of Inspector General. So this is pretty uh, pretty deep stuff here. Uh, duplicate loans made under the uh, Payment Protection Program. How, how much more uh, do you need to know? That That's what it is. And it all says it has gone through the e the, It all went through ETRAN, which is the e if you see ETRAN written down somewhere, that's the portal. That everybody, if you got a loan, you went you went through a portal. You had to go through that to get the loan. Um, so a lot of people, or not a lot, but the fraud actually went through the portal. Got got um, numbers from people, um, SBA application numbers, and ended up going out and getting more than one loan using the information that was on their their uh, their loans. So uh, you know who knows. That might, they might have got your information. Who knows at this point in time? Uh, so here it is, Office of Inspector General. It went out to Tammy Periello, who is the acting administrator right now, the uh, the person who's holding the fort down for Carranza before she gets in there. And she's doing a great job. I had mentioned her yesterday on the video. And uh, it was Hannibal Ware. The, uh, oh, this is the guy, man. That's Hannibal Mike Ware. Uh, he's the uh, SBA's Inspector General. And he's, uh, that's... It sucks. This is kind of what's been a holdup for a lot of us right now, and it's still ongoing. When will it uh, end? We don't know. And guys, when you're dealing with billions and billions of dollars, this is going to happen. Things like this are going to happen, but it it really it, it screws us up for the those of us who are still waiting for uh, the loan while they're trying to fix things, trying to get our loans while people are trying to fix things. So if you haven't got your loan yet, by the time you watch my other video, as far as the red flags that are going up for businesses that uh, are legitimate, now we're watching red flags come out for, you know, tr absolute fraud. And we wonder, now they're now they're, what they're saying in, in this whole package is, we're going to make these lenders go one by one. There's not going to be all these fluctuating um, automatic disbursements of of loans. They're going to have to be going over more carefully, and this could take more time. Um, so, with this said, guys, I'm it'd be the bearer of bad news, but you know that's why I get so many thumbs down because I don't mind uh, giving the bad news as well as the good. This is bad, but uh, I'm going to put a link down below. Y'all can read it. Duplicate loans are being made under PPP. If that affects your loan, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Hopefully, it doesn't. But uh, just to let you guys know that it's happening and uh, the investigation here is underway, as well as the investigation for the idols are happening as well. But that's a different story. That's more, it, it's in a different area. But anyway, nonetheless, it all sucks. Anyway, guys, I'm going to throw this out to you real quick. Hopefully, I didn't waste too much of your time. Have a blessed day. Like and subscribe. Bye bye.